Well, for good morning, my name is Donald Chukna Logan. I report for the uh, CBC this morning. And where I did so now, uh, we had a recall Tom Line for uh, Ubawa Lagos Expressway. And uh, many people they hear they call Tom Line River, Tom Line River, Tom Line River. <laughs> Even some weeks ago, I know, say, yeah, where they call Tom Line River. And uh, I think I don't promise us one of our videos, say, um, on a good day when the place go they flooded, I go come this area, make a conscious uh, how the place be where make the call uh, Tom Line River. So my people now expressway, the ever busy bow expressway. Now be where we did so. Now be what we see. We, if we look the camera well for the other side of the road, we see where they call uh, Tom Line building. They see the Tom Line building. Uh, hey, so I go um, st um, see, try to take the other side. Make we see how the water day for the other side. Now this morning, heavy downpour. There was a heavy downpour in uh, this part of Benin City. This morning, why I say for this part of Benin City? Now because I I uh, throw call through to some people this morning. And um, I was told that uh, uh, there is no area uh, again in uh, that there are areas in Benin where rain, no even they don't even see single drop of rain this uh, morning. Uh, so I I I can't decide or I can't know. Say okay, maybe say no be everywhere for Benin like this rain for fall today or for fall this morning. But one downpour day for this Ubawa area this morning, and now the results now we see so. This place is supposed to be the third lane, whether they call BROT lane. If you remember vividly well, when uh, Comrade Adam Soshomole was governor of Edo State, he constructed uh, this Ubawa road. You know, really good at time. They can't do um, four lanes, two normal fast lanes, and two BROT uh, lanes. So, this is now one of the BROT lanes now with the CISO. This is now one of the BROT lanes now with the CISO. And from uh, what with the C, don't cover with water. Now, I want us to know that between this BRT lane and um, the fast lane, there is a, 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 a drainage system. There's a drainage system. So normally all these kinds of not supposed to occur for a year. But uh, so many things, so many factors where we say don't cause when we say anytime rain fall like this. Now only one day rain. Though. Rain never fall for about two to three days before now. We never fall for about two to three days before now, before this one they fall. So when it be like this, so sometimes you go the one that safe to say this. If this one can't fall for like um, more than um, uh, a day, say now all those seven days rain, and it heavy like this, how this place will be? Now I go still go further. I go show us how the fast lane be or how the fast lane um, they currently, but. Um, uh, I go sure say the water don't enter road. So like I was even saying before, the drainage, waiting be waiting they cause this thing. Why the drainage knows the sand again? Number one, they channel the drainage wrongly. They channel it wrongly. I don't speak with so many people, even so many construction engineers, where say this drainage is supposed to channel and down to, uh, there is this drainage right between the BRT lane and then the fast lane, so for this expressway. They're supposed to channel and down to the uh, to a technical junction, take them down to Ikoba River, but the channel lamp, the wrong way, that's number one. They don't channel lamp, go inside river, that's number one. Then number two, sand, erosion sand, don't fall inside the drainage. So, no be drainage again. In fact, you feel the water on top of the drainage if everywhere dry because sand don't, don't cover around. So, I will actually go further. I will just walk out, go front small, uh, make we see the effects. Of this river because as you see that there for this side, fat, eh, if you go down the water, if I go down now and I go see I'm close to the traditional ground that is the palace of the Jaike of uh, Uselu. We go see, say that place, eh, many motors sing for there this morning, many motors sing for there this morning. Uh, uh, the water, don't even from the BRT to enter the fast lane. So many people they trek, people they trek, bus no day. In fact, from UBTH down to from UBTH down to uh, uh, this storm line, so 
If I spend close to two hours for road from UBTH, we're supposed to be less than five minutes um, a walk. I can't spend close to uh, two two hours for inside for road because of a uh, hold up. If we look at people, the hold up will be small. The hold up will be small from that UBTH come. People, many people now, a trek leg that they use from um, that uh, Ubo axis. That is that uh, UBTH side down to this storm line um, area. So I want to actually go the other side of the road, the fast lane, make we see how that um, place really did. That right? is the effect of this um, river when this or this flood when we say can cover. Uh, the this uh, expressway so So this now early in the morning, as you see, I'm crowds because of hold up, because the motor no the um, crowds the trek, and you know, say for this our Benin city, one small rain just fall like this, people go just full uh, bus go just increase transportation. They go use because the rain fall and everything. They go increase transportation. As it is there for this side, so. I saw it take day for the other side of the road, though. That is this storm line side of uh, the road. That is the other BRT lane. That is this side where we storm line, too. I saw it take a day for day. And businesses are. Businesses, they this place. And the truth is, business is already grounded. You think they affect businesses because, like, this place now that they sell furniture. Uh, if I want to come buy furniture this morning, I see this kind of place. I don't go come here, come buy furniture again. I go just walk, I go yaro, go buy furniture, and which is killing uh, businesses in this area, or killing businesses in this uh, environment. This is not a major road, and it is quite shameful. It is very quite shameful. See, this kind of thing, they happen for uh, major roads. This is a major road in Benin City. People where they enter Benin, where they go out from Benin to Lagos and the rest, to the west, to the north, uh, no, some not they go north, to the west, most of them plow these um, areas, they plow these areas, and they will come, 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 they see, say, now so our area take this, say, now so our city take this, so. So this is the other side of the road. This is the other side of the road. This is not the Tom Line side. This is a major express wheel. And this road don't stop to four for close to um, close to three hours. Close to three hours and this road don't stop to four night be like this because nowhere for this water jet to flow go. So like I talk. Many reasons why this place was actually many reasons why this place was actually why this flood the day. Number one, the way they take channel the water. Then number two, the drainage. If you do something, government suppose they follow up, they maintain them. You understand? So, but there is no maintenance culture. There's no maintenance culture. Like I talked before, sand. 
Sand don't cover this our. Wow. Sand don't cover this our 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 drainage system. Like state government, no. Like we look at We have people they take a um, few minutes to work out before. Now, so now, like I talk, when I did call UBTH, from UBTH down to um, this storm line, so they don't times the money by two. That's our number one. Then the they times the money by two. We spend close to two hours. We have this on the normal day, 10, 15 minutes. You suppose on reach. We spend more than two hours for for road. So like I did talk, most times, uh, most times of this our country, we know the we know the plan for the future. We know the plan for tomorrow. You understand? We know the plan for tomorrow. We know the plan for the raining day. So now this now one day rain, like I talk, if start of off early morning. It does stop for over three hours now. One day rain be like this. How it will be if this rain come for for seven days? Not be even one day rain. <laughs> they say it don't bow. Now no people say na one full day rain self. I just they call it one day rain. Now some hours rain. Now it don't be like this. How it will be, my people, when it fall like this. For straight seven days without uh, stopping, how how will you be? So I just see the walk out down the this is our Tom Line River. They swim inside the river. I swim and they swim inside the river. So I swim and they swim inside the river. Uh -huh. So look at they swim with me. As a matter of fact, this side then what we don't see, so it's good though. If you reach traditional ground, cars don't sink for there. If you reach traditional ground, cars don't sink for there. If we end up say we feel waka see still waka reach that traditional ground area, we go we go uh we go still see him with our eyes see him. So like you see as people many where they trek, see the hold up and everything. Come on, don't forget some of this one at the ever busy Ubawa uh, Lagos Expressway. As it be now, if I go back to the UBTH area, it do be on a trek, I go even trek reach a uh, UBTH uh, area from so waiting day on on ground so because you know guy you go to see motor first where you go back to where you even carry you reach the area motor not the one great come but that's not the one great come to go currently because of how every year don't take how every year don't take the I 
Apoko Ludo is a Lu Moto Park, and uh, we don't see how this place take the. We don't see how the how the area take this. So, so very soon we we'll go we we'll go off. We we'll come off for life. Uh, because we don't get insights of how the place take the <laughs> I don't be government okay. So here we see one of those transport talks. Say make we tell government to make them come repair the road do. Make them come repair the road because it is for both economic activities and everything. People were supposed they walk this morning now. That they use leg the trek from Uba or the Go Ring Road because no no motto where they go that area. So without see my people, thank you for watching this video. God bless you, God bless Edu City, God bless Edu City. We will remember say block drainages. They see the cause uh, where flood like this take the day. Like this drainage now, like I told before, this is not drainage. But when every year dry knife you enter this area, you will see say, sand. Don't cover ram. We will try. We will do our plow our road. God bless you. God bless the state. God bless the city. God bless the city. Thank you.